Hello, hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the multi-level classification. Yes, this is one of the interesting things, guys. I love this. I love this and you'll be going to love. Okay, so um, let's start this video. And before that, please hit the like button, subscribe button and watch till the end. Because, you know, consistency is the most important thing. Okay, let's start this. So multi class uh, multi uh, label classification means multiple labels. Okay, that's fine. But uh, we need to understand something that is uh, quite important. Okay. So uh, you can see here, like there are uh, three pictures like uh, A, B, C. Okay. Then uh, these are the these are the labels like A. A is the label like Ellis. Just take it name name Ellis. This is Bob. This is um. Uh, you can say Charlie. Yeah. So you can say Charlie. Then uh, we have, we have, uh, we have fitted it in the machine. Okay. Now, now what we are doing, we are now going to test that what the model is going to predict. So we are just going to uh, give a random thing, which doesn't have the label. Okay. So it doesn't have the label, but we are calling it D. Okay. So we are calling it D, but it doesn't have the label. So we will be giving it input and then it will identify something like this 0, 1, 0. Okay. So this is one type of classification where it will be showing that, okay, if it is Bob, then it will be, you know, it is showing the position of A, B, C. So if it is a Bob, okay, um, I need this Alice, Bob and Charlie. So it is Bob, then it will be showing Bob. But guys, what will happen if this picture contains two persons, Bobby and Charlie? Then what will be the output? What do you think? So the output will be zero because there is no Alice, but there is Bob and Charlie. So there will be one and one. Okay. So one one actually denotes the true value and zero is denotes to the false value okay so it is by default and it's our human understanding so this slide um you know on a make you say the same thing that if there is a um, ellis and bob uh, then okay uh, ellis and bob then there will be only two uh, okay two outputs will be there and another will be zero something like that okay so this, this is the same thing we are going to see and uh, let's go and see this thing. Okay. So this, this para is actually saying the same thing that what I have told you now. Now, um, you can see here, like say the classifier has been trained to recognize three faces, Alice, Bob, Charlie. Okay. Then when the classifier shown a picture of Alice and Charlie, then it will be showing the uh, output true, false, true. You have got it? Okay. So if you have got it, then we are just going to do its coding. Okay. So Okay, we'll be seeing that, but before that, there is uh, this notebook link will be in the description. Just go, click there, and um, like enjoy the code. Okay, so you you know I I am just uh, for saving the time. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to uh, run the codes, but I'm going to uh, uh say and teach you like uh, every 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 uh, step that what's going on. So you can see here we are going to, uh, we are going to uh, make a classifier, multi-label classifier. Okay, so we have got NP, then we are getting K neighbors classifier. So we are actually uh, making it from the KNN. KNN means it is um, K nearest neighbors. Okay, so you can just have the search KNN. <laughs> and you can see the images, you can read about it. 
here you can read about in it uh, scikit learn okay so there will be uh, how to use that and there are different classes so all these things are uh, mentioned there now uh, what we are going to do we are we are doing do two things okay two things first is that we are going to see that the predicted you know like the label label is actually uh we are we are seeing it in the reference of um numbers not the faces so what what we are going to do we are going to take two features okay so first feature is that y train or a number should be equal to or greater than 7 okay so it's like it's like a ls okay and second feature is like bob like uh, it is odd okay so if a number will be um, greater than 7 then this will be saying true and if it is if it is odd then it will also do, uh, say true so there will be true and true value so it will be very easy for us to test it out in a very simple way on the MNIST data set okay so we have used previously the MNIST data set so we are going to use them okay fine so we have trained the uh, KNN uh, okay KNN classifier and we have fitted it now you can just run it after that you can see a digit 6 okay so 6 is not odd and it's not greater than 7 so uh, it's false okay then you can again run it and you can run it till you get uh, um, more than 7 so that you can see okay you can see here like it is it is greater than and equal to the 7 and this is odd also so this is true okay that's why i have i have no i have removed the randomization uh, like random seed so that it will give you a uh, random images and you can test it out okay fine then what we are going to do we are going to actually see evaluate that how much our model is performing so we are using the f1 score for that guys and let's use that so we can actually get from sklearn.matrix f1 score okay so you can just uh, search on the um, google guys I, I i am telling you from the first of the video that you have to google it okay so i am showing you that how to learn these things and you have to learn okay i hope this video these videos are getting helpful for you and then you can train it so uh, you can see here 95 percent uh, accuracy is coming just uh, wait and see 95 okay so what it is it is um, what it is taking that uh, here is the macro you can see here macro so what uh, macro is telling that all the data sets like all the data sets like uh, zero data points zero data point is there one is there different levels are there no so all the levels are equal in the number so that's what it is saying but what if there is an imbalanced data set if uh, zero data set is more or double than one one or two or three something like that so i just uh, like to remind you that uh, our mnist data set is uh, uh, a number data set between 0 to 9 so i'm just going to show you mnist data set here you can see it if you can see it uh, here are a lot of numbers 0 1 to 0 to 9 okay that's fine so what we have done we have done weighted we have just changed it weighted so what it will be giving that it will give the weight to each of the labels okay so that uh, they, they will be not misclassified and there will be not a uh, imbalanced uh, you know we will have a imbalanced evolution so evaluation will be imbalanced but you can see here like uh, there is a very slight change means all the datas were uh, almost similar okay that's fine okay so you can read it like uh, we have make a y multi label and all these things i have told you that uh, it is should be greater than and equal to seven then second classifier and all these things you can read it out uh you can get the book okay so you can purchase on amazon or you can do some guja uh, jugad if you know about it okay and then then we are going to do what if you wish to use a classifier that doesn't natively support the multi-level classification 
Okay. So SVC, what is SVC? What is SVC? Okay, uh, you have to search for the machine learning. Okay. So you can search it support vector machine. So you can see it at what is the SVC, but it is also a classifier and we are going to train it. This SVC is not natively support the multi-level classification. So what it will be doing that it will be not capturing the both of the things means means it will it will uh, there will be uh, two things will be happening one 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 is like it is greater than seven or not and second thing is that uh, it is odd or not so this uh, this you know this k uh, knn was taking care of both but svc will be taking care of only one so we will be doing a chaining technique we are doing some chaining technique but before that, I just want to uh, tell you that what is this uh, KNN, okay? So guys, this is the KNN. What is, what is KNN? Okay, first. So there is a data points. You can see category A, category B. Okay, okay. Um, I thought, okay. So there are two different data points. There is a A, there is a B. So but uh, the, if there is a new data point like this, so how the model will going to classify this? So model will be finding the distance. Okay, it will be finding distance like this, like this, and it will be getting the um, getting that which which is the nearest. So it's like k nearest neighbors. That's why its name is k nearest neighbors. I don't know that your neighbors are good or bad, but uh, okay. So this this actually choose its neighbor. Okay, fine. Here uh, four, four. What is the meaning of four? Four means it it is going to um, mark the distance between the four and decide that which one is closer. So this one is closer. So of course this is from the category B. Fine. I hope you got the point. Now let's see. We are going to do chaining technique in SVC. Okay. SVC, we are going to do a chaining technique. Why this chaining technique? First, there will be what will be happening. This will actually see that uh, seven, uh, the, the number is actually greater than or equal to seven, eight or nine or not. Then let's, let's say that it have taken the seven that, uh, okay, this is seven. And what it is, the information will be something in the cache memory that it will be carry, for, carry forward like chain. Okay, it's chain like this. So there will be, of course, two chains. One is this, one is this. So it will be moving like this. So it will be now there is a two functions happening. One, two. That it will be now seeing that it is odd or not. So that's fine. So if it is odd, then there will be true and true value. So we are going to do with the coding. I hope you got the point. And let's start this. We are be importing the SVC. Then we'll be, uh, we'll be seeing this. We'll be training the model from the 2000 data house only. Okay. We are not taking 10,000 data. We are taking only 2000 of the data and you can predict that one and one. What was the, our sum digit Our sum digit was seven means it it was true and true so that's why it is saying one and one okay got it so this was the whole thing guys i hope you enjoyed it so so we are using the chain classifier you can see here classifier chain and this was it guys for today class and uh, there's one more lecture is rest for the classification then we'll be moving on the next chapter so I hope you all are excited for that and uh, meet you in the next video. Thank you so much and uh, keep learning the things. Thank you so much guys.